The CDC, the FDA all say that physicians should not use a Lyme test, blood test, to diagnose Lyme. They say if you want to run the test, that's great, but just use it as supporting evidence. What they should do is base their diagnosis on your signs and symptoms and your exposure to ticks. Signs would be things that people could see, like a rash, a bullseye rash, or a Bell's palsy, which happens to some people, which is a paralysis of one side of their face, or a fever, something they can measure, a swollen joint. And symptoms are things that you experience but nobody else could see. They'd be like pain, headache, fatigue, things like that that you have to describe to the doctor. They can't detect them otherwise. That's how the diagnosis should be done, based on those things. If you get a positive blood test, that's great because there's very few false positives. But half the time, people will come back with a negative test result, even though they're infected. And if you have a doctor that's familiar with this disease and has that experience with it, particularly if they've had it or somebody in their family's had it, then they'll probably want to put you on antibiotics just as a precaution, even if they're not absolutely convinced that you have Lyme. Because, I mean, the risk of taking antibiotics for a few weeks is a lot less than having a case of untreated Lyme. For a Lyme case that's caught right away, and that's within the first few weeks, and treated properly, which could be anywhere from a month to two months of antibiotics, generally a knowledgeable doctor will treat it till all your symptoms are gone, and then maybe a little extra. Um, for those people that get treated like that, 90% of them are cured. Most people, when they're bitten by a tick, get more than just Lyme. The ticks carry multiple diseases. And unfortunately, it's the rule, not the exception, that people pick up multiple illnesses when they're bitten. There's several of them that are very common in our area. Some of them, fortunately, are treated with antibiotics, the same antibiotics that are used to treat Lyme. And if you treat Lyme, you'll probably get rid of those. But there's other bacterial infections you can get, like Bartonella, which is treated with antibiotics, but the antibiotics used to treat Lyme don't work on that disease. So you need a different class of antibiotics. Another common disease is babesiosis, which is actually a blood parasite. It's very similar to malaria. Antibiotics do nothing for that. You need to be treated with anti-malarial drugs. The only thing we have that seems to work with uh, babesiosis. Both those diseases can cause very serious problems, and it's the people that are multiply infected that are the sickest and the most difficult to treat. And if you just treat one of the things that you've got, you're probably not going to get better. You may improve, but to get really healthy, you need to treat all the diseases you have.